Welcome back to the channel. Sorry there hasn't been any uh, much updates, but we did get the car all back together, fired up. We uh, got the 93.2 knocked out with Lund. Just switched over to E85, sent off the uh, the first log. Base tune ran amazing, uh, so we're just fine tuning the E85. Uh, I'm actually running. Take a look. I'm gonna be running uh, Dragon Racing Fuel E90, cut with uh, 118 octane. Uh, comes out of there red, which is actually really cool. I have a guy local to me that sells it uh, by the barrel or drum, whatever you want to call it. So that's what we'll be running in it for uh, the most part when we take it to the track and everything. So let's go take a look at the car and uh, I'll fire it up and you guys can hear it run. So everything is back together as you can see. Got all the, uh, got all the bugs out. Got everything back in. The, uh, I had to trim up the uh, inner fenders a good bit, especially with this side. Had to uh, take a lot out of it, but I got it mostly in there. Wheel rubs a little bit, so uh, I went ahead and ordered some skinnies. So we got some race star uh, bracket racers coming in to uh, match the back actually. So yeah, we're running uh, Mickey Thompson ET Street R's. These things hook way better than uh, than the O2 garbage summer tires. So here we are. We got uh. Got the one just dangling in there until I get the uh, the revision from one. But yeah, it's uh, pretty good. So we'll start it up. Fires right up on some E90. Might die out a little bit. It's pretty cold. It's like 50 degrees outside. But yeah, she's fired up. She's running. Everything looks good. Boost gauge is up and going. Uh, so the vacuum on the boost gauge does differ a little bit than the one on the car. So probably because it's in a vacuum block away. Take a look at it. Eventually I will upgrade from the uh, the breathers and make a, the ca a baffled catch can setup. Uh, I've been looking into that a little bit. So that is our uh, next thing to build. Well, yeah, it sounds amazing. serious fun so I am going to uh, let it warm up I'll throw a little bit of more E90 in there and then wait for the uh, the uh, next revision or if it needs a revision next email from Dakota from Lund Racing and once he uh, sends over the uh, next file then we will uh, take it out for a spin and get some uh, some pulls recorded so, just keep watching. Uh, we'll uh, load that tune up and we'll get driving here shortly. Alright guys, so we got the, uh, got the email we were waiting for and everything looked good. No revisions. So, we are going to uh, head out and get this next data log for Lund in Mexico. And uh, see how it all looks. Car drives absolutely amazing.
especially off of a bass tune. No revision so far for the E85. So we'll drive around, get it up to temp, and then we're going to uh, find a nice street in Mexico and uh, get a little pull for uh, for Lund and get it sent off to uh, have them go over it. So we are definitely in Mexico enough. So once the light turns green, we'll start the data logger and we'll give it a hit. fucking 50. Woohoo, my heart is literally racing out of my chest right now. Holy shit, that was fast. Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart is racing. That is freaking absolutely nuts on how fast that car went. Holy hell. All right. <laughs> All right, we got the pull we needed. Holy shit. So we're going to uh, drive it back home. Well, we'll stop and get coffee. The girlfriend wants coffee. So we'll stop and get her some coffee. And then we're going to head home and uh, send that off to Dakota and uh, hopefully everything's good and they nailed it on the first tune stay tuned thanks for watching remember to like comment subscribe uh, if, you will, if you're looking at this on three top mount kit for the s550 15 to 17 do it like you can get all the the reviews on the bad and all that stuff you know oh, it's chinese blah 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 well it's not going to give you coronavirus that's for sure maybe who knows but anyway it, it's definitely, if you're willing to put in the time or if you're just going to have pay somebody to do it, um, definitely on three. Save yourself the money. These kits are proven. They are, there are plenty of us running these kits. No problems. Eight, nine, even a thousand wheel horsepower, uh, all depending on your fuel system and, and a couple other things. So it's worth the money. It is definitely worth the money. Uh, I got my kit from DJ Smith at Juggernaut, and uh, he hooked me up. The kit literally came in like two days. He sent me the shipping info, and the kit was already as the day he sent me the shipping info. The UPS guy was unloading the boxes in my driveway. So that is literally how fast. I know you can go on On Three's website and see how fast shipping times are for uh, depending where you live, and they're in Ohio, and I am in Indiana. So. Shipping is usually one to two business days, which is beautiful because I had to order another AC line. Um, my AC line, I stripped out the first one, 
learn from my mistakes, assemble it by hand fully, clock it, and then take it off the car and tighten it so you don't strip anything out. So I'm going to run coffee into the house for my girlfriend and uh, send this email off and then edit this video and hopefully upload this video today and then uh, figure out uh, what else we need to do and hopefully up the boost and like I said, dyno the car. So I'm sure I said this like five seconds ago, maybe a little longer. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, next video should hopefully be a dyno run. Hopefully. Maybe some other stuff. Depends when the dyno guy can get me in. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.